All right, now it's time to talk about the scallops. So rather than trying to bust out all of the guitar necks, I tried to make an illustration, which is very poor. So bear with me here. So US version one has small frets and even scallops. They're actually pretty deep, but since it has small frets, it seems like they're not quite as deep. US version two um, has actually pretty decently deep scallops, uh, but they're different shaped, so it's not like an even curve. They go deep really fast and then kind of flatten out and then, you know, shoot up really fast back up to the fret. US version 3 is also jumbo frets, um, an even curve all the way from one fret to the next and very deep. US version 4 uh, is similar to US version 2 in that it goes deep extremely fast right past the fret then flattens out and then kind of goes up to the next fret. So US version 4 is definitely the deepest of them all and no possibility of touching wood so that's kind of nice. Then if you look over at the uh, Japan versions 57, 62, 72 they're similar to US version 1 but I think the scallops seem deeper because they have jumbo frets on them uh, so it's a nice even curve. If you look over at the 68 model though, which is also made in Japan, it's kind of more of a V shape and you can really tell this up in the upper frets. It doesn't have any ledges or anything so you're not touching wood but it's, uh, it's definitely different than all the rest of the frets. Then if you look down at the Japan export model, that one has very poor scallops. They have a ledge on both sides of the fret on most of the frets so you can touch the wood you know pretty much at any given time uh, and that's pretty much it